<clears throat> Hello everyone. This is the hardest video I think I've ever had to make. Uh, but I feel like I have to do it, and I feel like I have to do it now. Uh, so I've tried. I'm not kidding. 40 times to try to make this video. And uh, each time I break down in the middle of it. So, and I'm not here for a spectacle. I'm not here for a show. I just, I just feel like I want to give thanks and I want to do a tribute to my best friend, Craig. Craig was suffering. Well, I met Craig in 98. Um, we were going to college. I didn't know him prior to that, even though we're from the same city and he's only a couple of years older than I am. I met Craig in 98, college. And uh, by the time 99 rolled around, best friend. I mean, we've seen Star Wars episode one, two, and three together. He was at my house pretty much every night, and if not four or five times a week, we went to coffees. He seen my little babe, my little girl, Marley, as a baby, and now at 13. The greatest friend that I ever had in my life. Couldn't ask for a better guy. Wouldn't hurt a soul. The guy would do anything for a friend or for a family. Um... Well, anyway, he passed away yesterday, and uh, I'm taking it very hard uh, because he was my best friend. He was a brother to me. He was a brother. He was the best man at the wedding, at my wedding. Uh, and in fact, that if I if he would have passed away before I got married, I wouldn't have had a best man to my wedding because he is the he is my best friend. Um, just a great guy. Um, so anyway, he did, he was very sick, lost a lot of weight, um, then they found out in June, he had, uh, in his liver and lymph nodes, he had, he had a cancer there, and he fought and fought and fought, and I knew he was in a lot of pain, I talked to him pretty much every day, and, um, and I knew, and I knew, he never complained, never complained once, but I knew he was in a lot of pain, and, uh, the last thing I said to him, uh, I thanked him for being my best friend. And I told him he was a great guy. That's literally the last thing I said to him as a text. And he told me he was going to text me the next day. This was a couple of nights ago, and I didn't hear from him. So I figured I didn't want to bug him too much because, you know, he was he's sick. <laughs> so yesterday I texted him again. I said, hey, buddy, da 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 da, -da. And, it's, and then I got a text back, and it was his sister, and she told me he was uh, in, in palliative care broke down, I talked to my wife, my wife hugged me, so anyway, I got myself, like, all together, and, uh, went to work, and, uh, my, and about 3.30, my phone was just going crazy, and I wouldn't look, it was vibrating in my pocket, my watch, because I wouldn't watch this, it was going off, and I was seeing these numbers, that's not on my phone, and I knew it was his sister's, and then I seen his name come up, and I was like, oh my god, Craig is gone. But I wouldn't look. I, I wouldn't look. So when I did look, I said he passed away. I had to hold it in. I had to get someone to cover my shift. And I had to take care of today's shift because I never went to work today. And I honestly, like I said, I've never cried so much since the passing of my man. It's hard. <clears throat> it's very, very hard. Uh, his sister called me yesterday and wanted to know if I would be at the Paul Beer if it wasn't too hard. And it's going to be hard. But I'm going to do it. Because he would do it for me. Um, it's very hard. Craig, if you're, wa oh, if you're watching, wherever you are, man, I love you. You're my best friend.